Hi everyone, this is Kona, and welcome to week 15. We are getting closer to the end. So what are we doing this week? Well, this week we've got our discussion 14 correlations. Um, you're creating the mini tab file, so go back and review the feedback you got on project 4 planning. Based on that information, you would create your mini tab file, and then you're also writing your introduction and methods. You also have two quizzes, but I will tell you uh, chapter 5, Quiz 1, um, really, if you watch the video uh, and pay attention to it, that one should literally take you 90 seconds to get a 100% on it the first time. And I kid you not, uh, I've had students that have been in class with me, and after I review it with them, they take it, and they do wonderful on it. It really is straightforward, and hopefully you should do great on it. Um, the Chapter 5, Quiz 2, that one is going to take a little bit more, but shouldn't be too bad. So to dig a little bit deeper, uh, here are the week 15 resources. So you've got introduction to correlation and linear regression, solving for simple linear regression, and correlation regression activity. Um, you also have these other things. So the linear regression notes, um, this is just kind of getting you ready and getting you mentally thinking about uh, what linear regressions are and how they work. Uh, then you've got the solving for the simple linear regression and the actual regression activity. Uh, the first quiz is this linear regression notes, and the second quiz is the other two um, set of notes, I guess. So first quiz, um, so what is that? Chapter 5, quiz 1. Okay, so chapter 5, quiz 1 is the linear regression notes, and chapter 5, quiz 2 is the solving for simple linear regression and the regression activity. But what else do you have to do? Uh, we've got a correlations discussion. Well, hopefully this one is a fun one because what you're going to be doing is talking about spur spurious correlations. So spurious correlations are basically, and you can go to the website here, uh, is a mathematical relationship in which two or more events or variables are not causally related to each other, yet may be wrongly inferred that they are due to either coincidence or the presence of a certain third unseen factor or confounding variable. So this is where sometimes people say uh, correla correlation does not equal causation. Uh, that is something that's said quite a bit in the statistics world. So just because things are correlated does not mean uh, that they are caused, that one causes the other thing. Um, so things can be related without it actually um, being like, so they can have a relationship without them actually one causing the other. So an example is if you go to the Spurious Correlations website, I didn't think to open. So here you go, US spending on science, space, and technology, and suicides by hanging, strangulation, and suffocation. These are spurious correlations. So if you look, these look like they have a relationship. What kind of relationship? Well, this is a positive relationship. So first of all, the easiest way to tell that it's a positive relationship is look right here at this correlation. The correlation coefficient, which is this number right here, is a positive number. Well, that right there tells you this is a positive correlation. But the other way to tell that it's a positive correlation is that both lines are going in the exact same direction. So when the two lines go in the same direction, it doesn't matter if they're going up or if they're going this way. As long as they're both going in the same direction, it's going to be a positive correlation. Because what you're doing here is you need to find uh, two correlations, one positive and one negative. Include both charts in your discussion. Uh, make sure to include the actual correlation coefficient number, and then indicate uh, which is your positive, which is your negative, and explain the correlation. So for this, I want you to be funny. So maybe it's, you know, the more that we spend, the more people um, think about uh, aliens and they get worried, and so they decide to hang themselves because they're worried about we're going to find aliens. I don't know. Completely made up. This is not real because... Do you think that U.S. spending really has any on um, science, space, and technology really has anything to do with suicides by hanging? I really doubt it. So it's a spurious correlation. It's something that has a very strong, I mean, look at that. That's a 99%. That is an extremely strong correlation, but really has nothing to do with each other. So if you scroll down here, um, here's another. So even though you might not be sure, uh, people number of people who drowned by falling in a swimming pool versus number of films, Nicholas Cage has played in. Um, once again, that's a positive correlation. Uh, let's see, another positive. We need to find a negative here somewhere. Ah, here we go. 
here's a negative correlation. So why is this a negative correlation? See how they cross. So before, even on this one, even though they're going down, they're both going down together. So this is a positive relationship because when one goes down, the other one goes down. When one goes up, the other one is up. That's a positive relationship. A negative correlation or a negative relationship is when one is high, the other is low. So in this case, as this one's getting higher, this one's getting lower. That's the negative relationship, which also you can tell from the negative correlation. So find, back to the actual discussion, uh, find a positive and negative one, put the charts in, make sure to put the correlation number, indicate which is positive, which is negative, and make up a funny story. So there's that assignment. Moving on, um, this week you get to actually make your mini tab file. So you can actually create the mini tab file based on that project for planning. So this is where you're basically going to have something that looks like this. You'll have your school, your identifier, you'll have 35 of those. You'll have one response variable, so only one response variable. And then you will have seven, and that's kind of going off the page, but trust me, there's seven uh, predictor variables. Oop, I didn't put predictor there, but that is a predictor variable right there. Notice there's no, you have that as a percentage, but without the actual percentage sign. And what you're going to do is pick your schools. And once you pick your schools, you, and this kind of goes through the process of how to do this right here. Once you pick your schools, you'll then um, go through and find the scores for your response variable, your predictors, uh, put that in Minitab. And what you submit is the Minitab file. That's what you're submitting to this assignment. The other thing for this project is you are doing the introduction and methods. So what's the topic, what types of schools were picked, all of that good information. Methodology, it is schools instead of the participants because we didn't have any actual, oh, sorry about that, what actual we didn't have any actual participants as much as just the schools we picked. Uh, your procedures and then the appendix. Uh, and then I already talked about this is the quiz that should be super fast and this is the one that's going to take a little bit more. But otherwise, that is uh, week 15. So good job getting this far. And uh, we're almost done. So keep up the good work.